hello class 2 welcome to your uh, value education class channel so today in this video i will explain the chapter that is chapter 12 helen keller okay so chapter 12 will do uh, today so open your book at page number 6161 page number 61 will do and the and the chapter's name is helen keller chapter number is 1414 right I think you must have heard the name of Helen Keller. If not, uh, today you can learn something about this uh, personality. Okay. Now see, from here, this from this lesson, we will learn the value of preservation and determination. Okay, what is the value of this chapter? Preservation and determination. Okay. Now, I will always, as long as I have breath in me work for the handicap people all over the world this is what said by helen keller handicap means what people having some disabilities like uh, some people they cannot hear properly cannot see some people are blind deaf and dumb right so helen let us start and she said that i will always work for those who are handicapped okay now helen keller's helen adams keller better known as helen keller earned a great respect and love in the modern world she was born on june 27 1880 in a small town of tuscumbia in alba Ma in the southern part of america she belonged to a well-established and respected family her father was captain arthur h helen and mother was kate adams helen was their first child see you can see the picture of i uh, given here this is helen killer she is a very famous personality okay so and now we are discussing about her now let me explain the first paragraph Helen Adam Keller is the full name of Helen Keller and she earned a great respect in the world, in the modern world. Why? She must have done something very well, very good for the society and she must have uh, given us some example with the help of which we can also move forward, okay? We'll get the courage, okay, to move forward even if we have some disabilities in ourselves, okay? Now, she was born on June 27 in 1880 in a small town of Tuscumbia in Alabama, which is located in the southern part of America. She belonged to a well-established family and respected family. She was from a very good family, from a well-respected family. Father, his father was Captain Arthur Helen and mother was Kate Adam. Then Helen was their first child. Helen was the first child to their pay to the, to her parents. When Helen was 90, just 19 months old, a mysterious disease infected her. When and Helen was just 19 months old, she was caught with a very infectious disease. Due to very high fever, she was confined to bed. And due to very high fever during those period, whatever she had when she was infected. Uh, that time what happened she was confined to bed she was in bed for a long time actually nobody knew what the disease was and nobody can find out what was the disease what the disease was okay doctors tried their best and going to uh, and doctor tried tried their best and owing to their great effort helen survived she was about to die but doctors they cried a lot as a result of that she was a uh, she was at least um, survived. She was survived by the great support of the doctor and their well effort, the good effort of the doctors. However, because of the disease, she became blind and deaf. Gradually, she also became dumb. But due to this disease, what happened? She lost her eye sight. Okay, and then she became deaf and dumb. Means she could never, she could neither hear or she could not see or could speak sorry okay 
so she was blind she couldn't see she couldn't speak she couldn't hear okay so this was the result of the uh, result of the infectious infectious disease she 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 suffered from okay now it was so infectious that she was in bed for a long time and then um, with the well good effort of the doctor uh, she could survive but she was she became blind deaf and dumb her mother found a good teacher for her miss any solivan was brought home to teach little helen okay now to teach her for her she need a good teacher okay so her mother found a good teacher for her and her name was miss any salvi uh, salivan okay and miss uh, any salivan was brought home to teach helen then the arrival of miss salivan proved to be let us turn the page so the arrival of miss uh salivan proved to be turning point in the life of helen so the teacher had a growth has a had a great role on her life she brought some changes her um, her um, existence in helen's life okay was a turning point in her in helen's life okay when she came she, uh, she had that life of after the coming of the teacher any uh, salivan her change took a turning okay what is that we'll study now okay later she called it as later on she called it means helen called it as my soul's birthday it was a new birth from her birth for her when the teacher came and started teaching helen miss Sullivan strongly believed, and Miss Sullivan uh, strongly believed. What obedience is the gateway through which knowledge and love enter the mind of children. So she said a great uh, sentence that is, obedience is the gateway. If you are obedient to someone, if you listen, if you try to do what your elders, what your well wishers says, then it is the gateway through which. knowledge and love enter the mind of a child okay now miss sullivan started working hard with helen now miss sullivan she started working hard with helen okay the first word which she taught helen was doll the first was word that she taught to her was doll d o d l l doll by keeping a doll in her palm she kept a doll in the palm of little helen and taught her to pronounce the word doll okay later she wrote the word and afterward she wrote the word with finger on helen's palm and then what she did she wrote the word doll t o d l l in the palm of helen okay d o d l l in the palm of helen okay with her finger so so that the little child can feel that it little child can feel okay now gradually mainly because of miss sullivan's patience helen started showing interest in his studies and then she was she kept up uh, she kept patience means so the teacher and as a result of that helen started showing interest in studies she adopted various method to teach her then a miracle happened in helen's life and then a miracle happened what is the miracle see one day she spelled the word doll and one day suddenly she helen spoke spelled sorry spelled the word doll however tough it was uh, however though it was very difficult for helen but she, uh, she spelled the words like mug candy and water see it is very difficult for to for her to speak a word however difficult it was okay though it was difficult for helen but as she has developed a interest for studies she uh, gradually spelled the word mug candy water okay she even spelled the word teacher 
okay she start she can now spe uh, spell the word teacher also okay with the passage of time and with the passage of time miss sullivan taught her how to read a book with the help of the braille system now with the passage of time what what happened she the teacher taught her how to read a book how to read a book with the help of the braille system now what is braille system braille system means this are this is a system with the help of which braille with the help of braille a uh, blind man can read okay they try to uh, they take help of this it's like an instrument braille okay so it is a system help uh, which help the blind people to read and write okay so with the help of this braille uh she could uh, she started reading books also and it was taught to her by her teacher helen grew up and slowly and gradually helen grew up she wanted to study and get a degree now she wanted to study and she want to get a degree okay now as such means she want to go for higher qualifications as such she was admitted to the redcliff women's college of the harvard university usa and as a result of that she was admitted to a college that was the name of the college was redcliff women's college okay and it was under harvard university uh, in usa harvard university is in usa at first she found it difficult to study the various subject at first it was difficult for her to study various subjects however later her firm determination and hard work made this made things easier for her and however as she was determined okay as uh, as she worked hard and then as a result of that uh, the things become easier for her gradually she started enjoying her studies and also became friendly with the other student now she started enjoying her own studies and she become friendly with the other students soon she became popular in college and slowly and steadily she become a she become very famous in the college in 1904 she achieved graduation with excellent marks and in the year 1904 she completed her graduation and achieved excellent marks in her graduation then after her graduation she decided to help the handicapped people all around the globe then after she completed her graduation now she decided to help the handicapped people all around the globe throughout the world she decided to help the handicapped people throughout the world she regularly participated on the page come to page number 63 she regularly participated in different programs and meetings conducted for the benefit of handicapped people now she regularly participated in different programs and meetings conducted for the benefit of the handicapped people now she started working for the benefit for started working for the handicapped people all across the world okay she traveled to various places then she traveled to various places and raised fund for the benefit of the blind people now she started traveling to various places and she started she started to collect fund means money in order to help the blind people during the second world war and during the second world war which was 1939 she visited the blind americans in the hospital even during the second world war what happened uh, in 1939 she vis visited the blind americans in the hospital also uh, to console and encourage them to console the blind those uh, sufferer to console and encourage them the victims to console and encourage the victims of the war later she called this visit as the and later on she called this visit as the crowning experience of her life is a very good experience of her life in 1961 she got sick and lost the power of communication and in the year 1961 she got sick and lost the power of communication again in the year 1961 what happened she, uh, she got sick and then again she lost the power of communication even in her sickness even in her sickness during the period of her illness she spent her time for the poor blind people and she devoted her time for the 
benefit of the poor people due to illness at the age of 88 she died in 1968 and due to this illness at the age of 88 she died in the year 1968 okay this is all about helen killer so she is a great personality with her uh, strong determination and hard work right she won all the old odds in her life and later on in her life she could help many people like her okay so this means that if you have determination and uh, if you have that if you are devoted towards your work then you can do good for the whole society as well as for yourself okay this is the chapter we have done now page number was is 61 helen keller and now we have completed the syllabus of value education also for the exam and after this uh, class i will give you the question answer of this chapter uh, through telegram please do write all the question answers properly in the cw copy and please send it for correction write correctly and now uh, uh, after this uh, the fill in the blanks is also there fill in the blanks number b this also i'll send you through the telegram okay thank you